Thanks for tuning in to this Saturday morning edition. Starting lineup, NASCAR, Coke Zero Sugar 400 for the race in Daytona this evening. And we're doing this just on a Saturday after qualifying was on Friday. Uh, because I just figured, well, instead of doing it last night, and by the way, I was really busy with football interviews over on the R Lads Football Network. It's almost football season. Matter of fact, it kicks off at 12 o'clock today in Ireland, uh, the college football season. I said, you know what, let's just wait for the morning. I'll get the odds and we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and do that because as you can see there in the uh, bottom left-hand corner from my point of view is Michael McDowell. He is on the pole and uh, maybe that's not a surprise for two reasons. One, because Michael McDowell's a good qualifier and that says something. I'm sure the sponsors like that. Uh, the other reason why this is interesting and maybe not so unpredictable is because he's driving a Ford. And look at this. Ford, 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 Ford. Ford ends up with the top six fastest qualifiers and seven of the top eight. And dating back to our show, and you can check out the show. We have a link in the description for that regarding uh, our preview of this race several days ago. Uh, we talked about uh, Ford winning for the last seven. We also talked about this. This is something I don't think I've seen. I, I, I know this. We haven't seen this all year. Is there, is there a particular manufacturer missing here? Fords, Chevys, Chevys, Ford. Oh, there it is. Toyota. O for 16 in qualifying for Toyota. Truex, the first Toyota driver in qualifying. Remember the last time we, talk, we talked about this, the last time Toyota won at Daytona? Well, they haven't won in the last eight appearances. And we also talked about the fact that in the Xfinity series, they hadn't won since 2013. So Toyota just not doing a good job overall at Daytona. Uh, and, uh, well, by the way, who won yesterday's race? Did Toyota finally win? I, I don't know. I doubt it. I didn't even check that out. But uh, either way, this is not a good sign for Toyota here in the Cup Series. And Denny Hamlin was the last driver to win with the Toyota. And you know how good Denny Hamlin is at Daytona. Uh, even though he's in a little bit of a slide at Daytona recently, but still. You know, Hamlin and Blaney should be considered, and maybe even Joey Logano, uh, the top drivers at super speedways like Daytona and Talladega. Okay, so that's pretty huge news, isn't it? Having the top six Ford drivers and no Toyota drivers in the top 16. It's just crazy. Uh, let's also keep this in mind, that uh, Tyler Reddick did win the race at Talladega driving a Toyota. Okay, now he only led... 13 laps, and he was the only Toyota in the top 10. Okay, John Hunter Nemechek also led 20 laps, but he didn't finish well. Probably got into some sort of uh, trouble. Ford, though, uh, had two of the top three drivers at Talladega. Michael McDowell, as you can see here, the pole sitter, had uh, the most laps led at Talladega, 36. Okay, so Michael McDowell led the most laps, at Talladega earlier this year, and now he's on the pole. Joey Logano was the second most, also driving a Ford, leading 22 laps. Chevy had four of the top seven. So it's still clear that Ford and Chevy are the dominant cars coming into the race on Saturday. And so now let's uh, take a look at the odds and because you know they've changed for Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell's odds, and I'll, by the way, I'll, I'll move this down here so you can see the rest of the qualifiers here. By the way, here, here, here's the rest of them. The ones there at the bottom. Uh, I mean, Ricky Stenhouse, Haley, I'd probably stop right about there to say those, if anybody passed that, those last four, uh, not not really much of a chance. I'm not even sure Haley has a whole lot of a chance the way he's been going. Um, but anyway, so McDowell was just 22 to one. So it wasn't like McDowell was 50 to one or 60 to one, and he drops to 15 to one. So you really don't, lose a whole lot from 22 to 15 it's not that big a deal so don't go going oh no i missed out on mcdowell no you didn't you still got him at 15 to 1 and todd gilland's 30 to 1 and of course he's sitting there in second his teammate 
And remember, we talked about this, what, I think, uh, when did we talk about this? About a month ago. Whether or not you thought Micah McDowell or Todd Gilliland would win this year. And I, I believe some of the viewers thought that that was possible. Uh, I, I forget what CJ thought. I think CJ uh, thought that that was possible as well. I don't know if it was possible or he predicted it and said, yes, I do believe. I think he did. Um, and I do. And of course, we looked at this race as a definite possibility. And now look at them. Now they're on the front row. So, yes, I'm definitely going to throw a few bucks on McDowell and Gilliland in this race. And then there's Joey Logano, our, our, uh, the, the, the driver that we really zeroed in on on the show earlier this week. And he's sitting there in really good position. Uh, matter of fact, that's uh, uh, overall that was CJ's second pick of the uh, out of his top three, and of course I loved him too. But uh, you know, since CJ took him, I decided to go a different route. None of my drivers have looked all that good so far here. Matter of fact, I took Busher, Chastain, and Dylan as my top three. Austin Hill was my long shot. CJ went with Kozlowski, Logano, Zane Smith, and LaJoy as long shots. Where's Corey LaJoy? Where did he sneak into? Why did I? There he is, 34th. Not so good. All right, anyway. Oh, and if you want to know, which is always important, if qualifying is, is a factor in these races, well, not really. Only three of the last 13 winners have started inside the top 10. <laughs> All right? So it's actually better if you don't start out in the top 10. Which, if you take a look at a lot of these top 10 drivers, look at this. Uh, on a normal week, long shot, long shot, long shot, long shot, long shot, long shot. Okay, so you've got half of these are long shot drivers. Okay, the, the ones that you would go, oh, okay, Logano, Byron, Elliott, Larson. Okay, but, okay, big but, Chase Elliott has never won a race at Daytona. He's run her up a couple times, but he's never won. All right, and I think that's important. And uh, Larson, we, we know the history of Larson. And this is important to note. If Kyle Larson is going to finally win a race at Talladega or Daytona and finally even get a top five, it's, it's like Corey LaJoy winning. It, it just is. Okay, so it could happen. But keep in mind, that's what it would be like. So that's why, well, why would I take Kyle Larson at 18 to 1 when I could take a driver like that, say, I don't know, uh, Noah Gregson at 30 to 1, or even some of the long shots we went with, Zane Smith or Austin Hill, 65 or 80 to 1. That's where Larson should be. That's those are the odds you you should you should honestly you should be getting 30 to 40 to 1 with Kyle Larson. So you're not so it's a, can he win? Of course. Anybody can win these races. But, but it just doesn't make sense to go that route this week or any time. Just keep your money. And if he winds up winning at one point, then it is what it is. But that's it. He, he probably won't win again. All right. Um, so anyway, the, the point is, is that out of those drivers in that top 10, it, definitely Logano. And then Byron uh, is someone that is also... Uh, definitely a contender because he's the Daytona 500 champ this year. But keep in mind, he only led four laps. Um, but he is coming off a second place finish on Monday, so that's nice. He does have two Daytona wins, okay? He's also wrecked more than half the time he's been at Daytona, so he's kind of a hit and miss. But the reason why it's it's not a good bet to go with Byron, who is sitting at 14-1, to 1, is, which is actually one of the favorites, is because of the fact that it's like almost really difficult to sweep Daytona. I mean, really difficult. So that's why we kind of knock him out. So, uh, and, and, which is why Logano still looks like he's really a good choice. He was 12 to one the other day. He's still 12 to one. This is why qualifying really doesn't matter at Daytona all that much. You can tell, but I would still jump all over Joey Logano because you could, I mean, I've seen favorites go down to eight to one at Daytona before seven to one. And to tell you the truth, I think Joey Logano should right now, considering he was third fastest, I think he should be the favorite. I think he should be at least 10 or 9 to 1. So I think you're getting a, a break there. Um, every sports book is different, though, of course. This is, this is this is a little bit different. Let's just pop up the uh, odds so you can take a look at them. So here they are. Now, again, these are just DraftKings. So your odds could be completely different at every sports book. 
So there you go. It's still Hamlin. Uh, you still got the top four there as far as 12 to 1. And with Blaney, uh, I know he did not qualify in that final 10, but he was still 14th. And uh, I still think at this point he's a bargain. Uh, obviously, I liked him a little bit better at 14 to 1. Uh, but still, uh, you know, it's, it's like anytime you come here, Hamlin and Blaney are the, are the drivers you almost have to take just by blind instinct. As far as Kozlowski, and this is uh, the, the top pick for CJ, uh, he was 12th, right outside the, that, that top 10. But remember, Kozlowski and Blaney and Logano, they're all driving the Fords. <clears throat> and that's why they're going to be really hard to beat, unless they get into a big wreck. Uh, <clears throat> then you get this next group of Chevys. And Kyle Busch is definitely the most intriguing one. He's coming off a fourth place finish. His partner almost won a race. Uh, the other the other week, and he actually has been pretty good with the next gen car at Daytona, as we talked about the other day. He only has one win out of thirty eight though at Daytona, but you do uh, you do wonder whether or not there's just this thing going on now uh, with the uh, uh, RCR camp that I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're they're definitely on the best run they've had all year, so maybe Kyle's not a bad play at all at fourteen to one, and he was right outside the top ten at eleven. All right, uh, uh, Wallace uh, is another driver that we uh, both thought uh, was a solid play. <clears throat> Neither one of us took him in our picks, but we definitely liked him. Uh, he was 16 to 1. He's now 14 to 1. And overall, uh, Bubba will be starting 18th. Not a big deal. And, and remember, so not only uh, we gave you those stats as far as three of the last 13. Uh, winners have started outside the top 10, including Ricky Stenhouse starting 31st and Haley starting 34th, okay? Um, and get this. And this is bad news for Joey Logano. No winner has started in the top two rows in the last 17 races at Daytona. So that's the one bad part for McDowell, Gilliland, Logano, and Priest. They'd have to be breaking a 17-race trend. And the last winner to win on the pole was Dale Jr. back in 2015, winning this race. All right. The last four winners starting average position is 20th. So that's why any of, any of those drivers, from 11 to whatever, they're, they're fine. They're, they're, they're no, no problem. All right. Uh, moving on. There's McDowell, 15. I guess uh, his number, yep, 15. Bush or 16? Again, he Bush or Chastain, they were, they were uh, two of my picks earlier this week. Uh, Bush is a solid, 13th, driving a Ford. Uh, Chastain is uh, 18 to 1, as you can see there. And I don't know, I, I just, for me, Chastain, it's, it's sort of like, as I said before, I think it's like, it's either it's over for him this year, or this is going to be the beginning uh, of him changing his season. And uh, we'll see if he can get it done. Um uh, he'll be starting 24th, as I said. Uh, nothing great, uh, but nothing way out of it. Uh, now you've got the others. Uh, Bell starting 27th. Uh, you've got Truex. He's starting 17th. Reddick is starting uh, 25th. Um, all the way down here. Bowman. Okay, he's going to start 21st. Gibbs at 28 is starting 26th. There's Dylan. I'm also putting a little bit of money on Dylan. Why not, right? Dylan, Bush, if I'm going to put money on Bush, I'll put money on Dylan. So, uh, and, and if you look at Austin Dillon, he actually has a good history at Daytona. Uh, Austin, let's see, he was, uh, his. what was his odds earlier this week? He was uh, 35 to 1, so his odds are pretty similar. And keep in mind, he's, he already has two wins at Daytona, okay? Now, he hasn't done well lately. Uh, at Daytona, so he's on a little bit of a slide, but still, you're getting 30 to one. I think he's a really good play. There's Gilliland. Uh, there's Gregson. Okay, he's going to start 15th, and Gregson's got a win in the Xfinity Series uh, at uh, at this track. So, um, you know, he, he's somebody that uh, actually no, he does not have a win in the Xfinity. No, he does. He has one win at eight in the Xfinity Series. And by the way, he was ninth earlier this year in the 500. And, and he was also fifth in, um, in four races, fifth and ninth. So that's not bad for Gregson at 30 to 1. There you see the rest. I mean, Stenhouse, you know how he is here. 
Uh, Suarez is awful here. Uh, LaJoy, we've talked about him as a potential long shot. There's my long shot, Austin Hill, who's just phenomenal in the Xfinity Series at this track. Three wins out of six. Actually, I'll check out what happened last night before we uh, wrap up. There's Zane at 80. This is uh, uh, CJ's pick. He was seventh on Monday, and he won the last two truck races at Daytona, 23 and 22. So, uh, and Zane was 13th in both tries in the Cup Series. So there you go. And uh, we'll sl slide on over to back over here. So, um, but before we go, let me, uh, you know what? Let me, let me do it here. Let me find out. This will be me, as it's happening, finding out what happened last night. Let's see. Where are we? Here we go. Oh, wait. What is this? Oh, we're already looking at it next week. Let me get this out of here, actually. I could do it quicker on this other panel. Xfinity Series. Here we go. Results. Move it back over. And let's see what happened. Postpone to Tona. Oh, I'm looking at these results. Okay. Probably shouldn't have done it like that. Here we go. Is this it? No, this is it. Here we go. Race winner. Ryan Truex. Winning the race last night. Oh, my Lord, he was driving a Toyota. <laughs> How funny is that? Wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow. The first Toyota winner in the Xfinity Series at Daytona since 2013. And they had the, they had the, front, they, the first and second. Wow. Uh-oh. All right, well, let's start the show all over again. Uh, but anyway, we, 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 again, it, it's all about the Cup Series. They're completely different cars, but it is interesting. That let me see actually what uh, what qualifying and uh, let's see the starting lineup in the Xfinity Series. Oh, well, you see, they had Chandler Smith was on the pole, so it is different. You know, Smith was on the pole. And they had four, uh, three of the top six. Four of the top seven were actually Toyotas. Where was Truex? Truex started sixth. So, yeah. Now, if they would have had, like, no Toyotas in the top 15 in the Xfinity Series starting lineup, then I'd really be worried. But anyway, there you go. That's our starting lineup report. Uh, please let us know what's on your mind. Uh, subscribe, like, share, all that cool stuff. Next week, we are going to wrap up. The regular season with Darlington, it's a Sunday night race. It's the last Sunday. NASCAR has all to themselves before the NFL season begins. So we'll talk about it in a few days with C.J. Radoon. I'll have a link in the description for his report, uh, his fantasy Rotowire report for this race. Also, uh, check out uh, the F1 race report. Uh, I, I believe I have that as well from C.J. If so, I'll put it there in the... Matter of fact, I think we've already posted that F1 uh, uh, report over on mystery caution so you can check that out and we'll see you guys real soon best of luck uh, enjoy the race tonight